How you doing? Tim Black. It's Ariel in Atlanta. <laughs> Ariel. You sound like H.A. Goodman, man. What's going on, Ariel? Tim yeah. Black. <laughs> <laughs> you got me all worked up. <laughs> what a what a great thing. I'm telling you. It's not just you, but I'm telling you, it's a testament to your character that you have such great people in your chat and following you, and it's always such a pleasure on both ends to hear you and to hear what people say. Um, so a few thoughts um, on what Iban Kim said about the, you know, the question of honesty versus being labeled a tattletale. And I think it's real interesting because I think we give kids a lot of mixed messages um, growing up. We tell kids, tell the truth and be honest. But then as soon as they do, you're a tattletale, you're a rat. You know, it's like, what is that? You know, it's, 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 uh, you're giving people two things. So that's, that's the thing there, I think. It's just, you know, avoiding that, avoiding that mixed messages. And the comment on your lesser of two evils, my, my thing is the lesser of two evils is still evil. <laughs> you could pick between Satan and Hitler, and neither one of them are good. So you're still getting evil no, no matter what you do. Um, something I wanted to go back to that you were talking about at the beginning of the show, which is my big hot button soapbox issue, is, is health care. Health care to me, and bringing about universal health care, and I like what you said. If, if they're not going to talk about single payer or health care for all, tell them to get off your damn porch. That's really it. That's really it. You've got to start there because the big manipulation of the public, go way back hundreds of years ago, it's the biggest thing they're going to manipulate you on is your food and your health. If they can manipulate those two things, they got you. They got you. They're going to hold your health hostage. They're going to raise the price so high that you'll be dying to do anything so that you don't die. And we're constantly, you know, in, in crisis with our food. The whole problem with Americans, and I think the biggest reason we haven't just completely rebelled and revolted and, and marched on Washington with the metaphorical pitchforks and torches is because Americans are not hungry enough. We keep people fed just enough with garbage food, but I think everyone is one meal away from revolution. Wow. We're not hungry enough. Wow. The French were hungry. <laughs> they were hungry. And you get hungry, you start looking around for who's keeping you there. Um, but we've gotten so good, our government and our media, everything's gotten so good at manipulating the public and distracting us with pointless news and celebrity frivolity um, that people don't pay attention to the real things that are, that are the underlying source. And I think that when you start, you know, learning about what's in your food, what's in your water, um, you know, even in, uh, for everyone out there listening, whenever you take a receipt, that's, you know, from a grocery store, wherever you go shopping, and it's on that thermal paper, that thermal paper is coated in bisphenol A, BPA. That stuff goes right into your bloodstream, and it increases depression, fatigue, chances of cancer, it disrupts your endocrine system. I never touch that paper. That stuff is, is terrible for you. We've got fluoride in our water, which is dull in our brains. And so, you know, it's, it's time to start learning about the most basic things that are being manipulated. Um, and taking the power back just through our basic food and our health. And uh, so that's what I got to say tonight, Tim. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I love you, Ariel. Thank you so much for the call. Get up for Ariel. Right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Tim. Have a great night. No doubt, sister. No doubt. You live with Tim Black, Freedom Friday. Yo, what's up? What's up, Marvin? How you Black doing, man? Marvin from California. What's up, Marvin? I'm doing all right. Good, bro. Man, uh... I just want to say a quick shout out to you, the, the the caller earlier too, Ariel from Atlanta about the hungry. I I I really think that's spot on. I, I really do. You know, we're, we're Americans as a whole. I think is is fed just a little too well. Even even the 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 so called lower rung. You know, let it be where you know you're going. And and I, I speak that. Honestly, as a person in in the city, with without a um, a real spotlight in or or understanding on what goes on in rural America, and I know that's been a big thing that's been popping up lately with the news. <clears throat> but I, I I agree with the caller that I think Americans as a whole is just they're they're not hungry enough. That's that's the the only reason why pitchforks ain't walk, walking down you know Pennsylvania Avenue. 